What are you doing? Carter's deep voice startled me and caused me to jump in surprise. Either he had really light feet, or I'd been too engrossed in my exploration, because I hadn't heard him approach, which made me seem even more foolish, since I faced a wall of mirrors and never once saw him walk up behind me. I covered my tightening chest with one hand, exaggerating the effort of catching my breath. God, Carter, you scared me. I was just checking out the place. I was never given an official tour, so I figured I'd wander around while you did what you came to do. Then by all means, let me show you around. His face split into a wicked grin, and it sent a wave of excitement up my spine. He waved his arm around the open room, past the cardio equipment and the weight machines, and announced, This is the gym. As I'm sure you've already figured out, you know where the rock wall is, and the men's room. He wagged his brows and offered a smirk. What's over there? I pointed to an alcove against the far wall. Two closed doors with only a small square window in the center broke up the mirrors. He moved to one, pulling me behind by the hand, and opened it. Flipping on the light switch, he said, Training rooms. They're used for private sessions. Both practically identical. I stepped into the room and glanced around. Much like the main gym, mirrors lined the walls. However, unlike the rest of the place, there were no windows to the outside. Completely closed off. There were weights, benches, heavy ropes, and cardio machines. Had I known these rooms existed, I might have asked for a personal trainer to keep from having to work out in front of everyone else. Let me see how much you can bench press. Carter shied away, his smirk brightening his cheeks. Nah, I'm not dressed to lift weights and jeans in a polo. I thrust out my lower lip and batted my lashes at him. The wine eliminated my nervous inhibitions, making it easier to flirt. Please, you don't have to lift much. I just want to see it. I think it's the sexiest thing in the world. His tongue swept across his bottom lip seconds before his perfect row of top teeth clamped onto it. The bristles of his beard shifted just below his mouth. My breathing slowed as my attention zeroed in on his actions, wondering what he tasted like. Wondering what it would feel like to have him bite me with those teeth. A bomb could have gone off in the room, and I wouldn't have noticed. I'm not adding weight to the bar, so you'll have to use your imagination. He strutted over to the bench and straddled it before lowering himself into position. As his eyes locked on mine, he lifted one side of his mouth, and the entire room became stifling with the heat of my desire. His thick fingers wrapped around the bar above him, and in one swift movement, he lifted it out of the resting grooves. He slowly lowered it to his chest, never taking his eyes off mine, and then raised it high above his head. Even without weight discs, it was sexy as hell. I could have watched him for hours, but my feet decided to take control and lead me to him. He continued the motions of working out effortlessly, while tracking my movement. Without the wine at dinner, I probably would have given him a compliment and then let him drive me home. But I did have wine. Three glasses. Maybe it was four. So nothing prevented me from straddling the bench and climbing onto his lap. I sat there with my hands splayed across his tight abs and stared into his deep forest orbs, not once questioning myself why I'd done it. It had seemed like a good idea, so I went for it. He dropped the bar back into the brackets, but he didn't pull his hands away. They say if a woman sits on a man while he works out, it increases his testosterone, which leads to muscle growth and improves strength. The confidence in my tone would have surprised me had I been sober. However, it seemed to have completely shocked him into silence while he continued to lie there and watch me. I figured I'd help you out with that. Not like you need more testosterone. One minute, his fingers were wrapped tightly around the Olympic bar above him. The next, his hands were gripping my hips so hard, my bones ached. He tugged me forward a few inches until my pelvis lined up with his. The harsh movement caused me to topple forward a bit, and I had to hold myself up by his pecs to keep from completely falling into his hard body. 
If you want to measure the amount of testosterone in me... He gritted out through tight lips and clenched teeth. Then sit right here and feel my muscle grow.